Look at all of the greatest NBA stars who won championships. For most of them, it's because they had an awesome supporting cast. Michael Jordan had Scottie Pippen and one heck of a defensive superstar Dennis Rodman. Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal had each other. Bill Russell had Bob Cousy and Tommy Heinsohn. LeBron James used Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade to help him land his first two NBA championships. But some NBA stars could have accomplished more, except they didn't have much help. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present 10 NBA stars who had the worst supporting cast. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Vince Carter in Toronto Carter spent just over six full seasons with the Raptors and averaged well over 20 points per game in five of them. That included 27.6 points per game in the 2000-2001 season. Carter guided the Raptors to the NBA playoffs in 2000 and 2001. In the latter year, Carter missed a last-second shot in Game 7 of the second round against the Philadelphia 76ers, barely missing out on sending the Raps to the Eastern Conference Finals. Carter did all this in Toronto with Antonio Davis as his best sidekick. Imagine if he had another superstar to work with. Number 9. Paul Pierce in Boston, 2003-7 before Pierce was given two sidekicks in Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen to win the 2008 NBA championship, he was virtually a one-man show in Beantown. He had superstar Anton Walker to work with early in his career, and he did have a flashy Ricky Davis for a few seasons. But Pierce really didn't have other bona fide stars to work with for a few years there in Boston. The Celtics wasted some of his prime years. Once he got Allen and Garnett, most Celtics fans were left thinking, about time we got Paul some help. Number 8. Kobe Bryant, 2005-7 and 2014-16 Bryant and the aforementioned Shaquille O'Neal led the Los Angeles Lakers to the NBA championships from 2000 to 2002, capping off an impressive three-peat. But Shaq had a falling out with Lakers management and was traded after the team fell to the Detroit Pistons in the 2004 NBA Finals. Once he joined the Miami Heat, the Black Mamba was left without any support. The Lakers missed the playoffs in 2005 and were taken out in the spring opening round in both the 2006 and 2007 playoffs. What could Kobe expect with Smush Parker and Kwame Brown as his sidekicks? Kobe got Pau Gasol in 2008 and the Lakers won the NBA title in 2009 and 10. When Gasol joined the Chicago Bulls in 2014, it forced Kobe to waste his last three years on woeful Lakers teams who were filled with inexperienced kids or career bench players. Number 7. Carmelo Anthony in New York, 2013 to present Anthony and Amari Stoudemire turned the Knicks into a top dog in the East, falling two games short of reaching the 2013 Eastern Conference Finals. But after that 54-win season, all went downhill for the Knicks. Over the next few years, Stoudemire began to decline, and the Knicks tried supporting Anthony with past their prime players like Derrick Rose, Jose Calderon, and Andrea Bargnani. Someone please give Melo an actual in his prime superstar. The Knicks are wasting him. Number 6. Jason Kidd in New Jersey, 2001-4 when Kidd joined the New Jersey Nets for the 2001-2 season, he made the most out of not much. He led the Nets to 52 wins with Kenyon Martin, of all people, being his best supporting partner. The Nets reached the NBA Finals but fell to the Los Angeles Lakers. Kidd took the Nets to the NBA Finals again in 2003 with Kenyon Martin as his best player, but the San Antonio Spurs beat them in six games. Kidd finally got support when Vince Carter was traded there in the 2004-05 season. If only the Nets had Carter a couple of years early, they probably would have won an NBA championship or two or three. Number 5. Chris Bosh in Toronto The Raptors struck gold when they drafted Bosh fourth overall in 2003. Unfortunately, the one full season he and Vince Carter spent together saw Bosh averaging just 11.3 points per game in 2003-04. From 2005-06 to 2009-10, Bosch averaged over 20 points per game in the Great White North, except the Raptors didn't build around him. 2006 first overall pick Andrea Bargnani never panned out, nor did trading for Jermaine O'Neal. Bosch's greatest years were wasted and you can't blame him for taking his talents to South Beach in 2010. He did get two stars to help him in Wade and LeBron plus two NBA championships. Number 4. Gary Payton in Seattle, 1997-2002 Peyton played with the Supersonics from 1990 to 91 to 2002 to 3. He and Sean Kemp teamed up to form one of basketball's most dynamic duos, but Seattle wasn't the same when Kemp joined Cleveland in 1997. For most of Peyton's final years in the Emerald City, an inconsistent Vin Baker or solid but not great Brent Berry were Peyton's best sidekick. Neither guy was exactly a Scottie Pippen or Tony Parker type sidekick, though. Can't blame Peyton for joining Kobe and Shaq in Los Angeles in 2003-04 before finally winning a ring with Miami in 2006. 
Number three, Kevin Garnett in Minnesota, 2000 to 2007. From 1998 to 99 to the 2006 7 season, Garnett averaged over 20 points per game with the Minnesota Timberwolves. He took them to the postseason every year from 97 to 2004 as well. This came with a good but not great Wally Serbiak as his best player. Ricky Davis also had some good years in many, but he wasn't a Dwayne Wade type sidekick that LeBron had. Nonetheless, Garnett joined many on his back to the 2004 Western Conference Finals before falling to the LA Lakers. He did a lot for many, and most T-Wolves fans must have shed tears when he finally got his NBA championship with Boston in 2008. Number 2. Allen Iverson in Philadelphia, 1997-2004 to The answer didn't need long to leave his mark in Philadelphia. Iverson averaged over 20 points per game in his first 10 NBA seasons, all with Philly. This included five seasons of averaging over 30 points per game. The 2001 MVP also led the 76ers to the 2001 NBA Finals before falling to the Lakers. Before Chris Webber came along, Iverson's best sidekicks were Eric Snow and Theo Ratcliffe. They have 6.8 and 5.3 points per game, respectively. Iverson never got his hands on an NBA championship, and the 76ers' inability to give him some quality partners is the main reason why. And number one, LeBron James in Cleveland, 2003 to 10. LeBron won two rings in Miami with Bosch and Wade, yes. LeBron won the 2016 NBA championship with Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, yes. But come on, the man turned Cleveland into a powerhouse with Drew Gooden and Larry Hughes as his best right-hand man. LeBron simply got bored of trying to win on his own with no help. Can you really blame him? Even MJ and Kobe wouldn't win titles with LeBron's supporting cast from 2003 to 10. Which NBA star do you think had the worst supporting cast? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.